You see, I think of communities that experience disorientation day after day after day. Like the people of Hawaii. The injustice of the U.S. Navy Red Hill fuel facility, which has contaminated the drinking water of residents of Hawaii since 2005, and that's just because those are as back as the far as the records go. But the U.S. Navy reports show spills dating back to 1947. Disorientation. What about the Southern Baptist Convention, the SBC? This denomination has been misguided by the view of Scripture, expelling just this week five churches from their denomination, which is the largest denomination in the U.S., because they allowed women to serve as pastors. Believing that the office of pastor is limited to men only, according to Scripture. Disorientation. Do you know the name Alonzo Bagley? Probably not. His black body died to a gunshot to the chest just last month. 43 years old, leaves behind a wife, a daughter in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And the body camera footage captures the encounter when Mr. Bagley says, Oh God, you shot me as he slumped to the ground and the voice of the officer saying, no, no, sir, sir. Hey, 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 no, no, no. Disorientation. Did you hear me? The Human Rights Campaign hosted a virtual briefing after an unprecedented 340 anti-LGBTQ bills were introduced in state legislatures across the country. 340 just this year, the highest number of bills targeted towards this community in a single year to date. Disorientation. And yet, why? Why do I preach about these ills and the sins of the church, the sins of society, week after week after week after week? Because disorientation is happening all the time, all over this country, all over this world. And there is a need for reorientation, a desperate need for the voice of God. We're not going to let the evils of racism and sexism and white supremacy and homophobia and transphobia disorient us. We will be reoriented daily we will be regenerated daily we will begin again daily you know why because there in that space is where we meet the divine it is where we encounter the face of the creator it is where we discover the love and grace of god that is healing this entire world.